Another way of looking at our study these are, is this chart, where the dark blue in the Israeli column are the number of repeat reports on Israeli children who had died, making it appear to us that more Israeli children are being killed because we hear of them so often. Whereas that exceeds the number that were actually killed. Where is it in the, whereas in the red column, the Palestinian column, there's a vast empty column where, uh, who's, of children who were killed by Israelis whose parents are still grieving for them that we never even heard about. Another way of charting that is in this column. This is from the New York Times reporting, our you know, newspaper of record, probably perhaps the most significant news, newspaper in the United States, perhaps, perhaps of the world. In this case, we decided to graph this chronologically during the first year, the first 12 months. This blue curve is the New York Times reporting on Israeli children killed, those 12 months. Next, we'll see the actual death curve for Israeli children, which is lower because the New York Times, again, had so many repeat reports on Israeli children, but it's following the same curve. Interestingly, it makes sense. Next, we'll see the New York Times reporting on Palestinian children killed that first year, which is this one, this red line. Uh, as you can see, it's lower, but it's following the same curve. It's very, a very similar curve. That's the New York Times reporting on Palestinian children killed by Israelis. Next, we'll see the actual death curve of Palestinian children, and here it is. This bizarre pattern is what we have found again and again, and the full studies are on our website.